These apps are making thousands of dollars on the Play Store. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I built one without writing a single line of code. Also, I will show you the tool I use to create the same complete, fully functioning app for free without writing codes. What you only need is an idea and the step-by-step -step guide, which I am about to show you in today's video. Stick around to the end because at the end of this video, you'll be able to create any app you want. All right, guys, let's jump into it. Click on the link in the video description. It will direct you on a platform called Creo, which is an AI powerful app builder, which helps you to build a fully functional app without writing a single line of code. As you see, this is their homepage and they have many tools which you can integrate into your application. So then if you are ready to go, you can create an account by clicking there on the login button or clicking on start building with AI. After clicking on login with AI, you can either create your account by using your email or any other option that suits you. When you are done, you are ready to go. You will arrive on this page where you will see this interface and you can click there to get inspired ideas in the case you run out of ideas and you will get many ideas you can start from. When you click there on integrations, you will get many tools which you can integrate into your app so that in case you need to integrate one or many among these, you don't have to worry about API keys. You see, you can integrate Nano Banana and many more. When you are done, you can click there on a new project and this is where magic happens. Inside that box is where we input our commands like a prompt which tells this creao.ai what app we want to build. So for me, I have my prompt which says build me a health reminder app, which is personal awareness that helps users stay consistent with their healthy habits by sending smart notifications to remind them to take medicines, drink water, exercise, or sleep on time. It allows users to log their daily activities, track progress, and view summaries of their health routines, making it easier to build health routines. And they added something like, use a clean and sleek UI by using my brand colors, which are green and white. And then I hit that send button and this Creo is gonna start building your fully functional app. So when you click on send button, it will return this message which shows you the tools which you can integrate into your app. So if you don't select any among that, it's gonna pick the best one which suits your app for you. So if you want, you can click there on build the one integration or either skip it, then it's gonna give you a product brief which shows you what your app really does. You see, all of these features will be included into my app. I gave it a short prompt and you see it's going to give me a detailed product brief. So then I approve it. After approving it, it's gonna start building our app. After waiting about like 50 seconds, you see it gave me a full functioning app. So we are going to test it so we can see if it is working very, very well. You see all the features, daily streaks, medicine, water, exercise, sleep. You see the interface it is as we prompted. You see it is made up of green and white color and then you see all features are functioning very well. See the progress you are seeing a status bar and you see you can add a reminder. You can add even medicine, exercise, water or sleep based on a prompt we gave it so you see it is working very well. I'm gonna name it like taking pills and then I'm gonna set time at 7 a.m. and then I hit add a reminder. You see a reminder has been added into the app and you see no activities has been created yet, but you see we have added that reminder. So we are going to add another one on water. So you see we're gonna add like drinking water and then we click on add a reminder. We are testing this app so that you can see if it can work very, very fine as we have said in the prompt. You see for now everything is working fine. So we are going to see if it can give us a reminder into our mobile app or device we are using right now. Then I click on add reminder and you see I've added two activities. You see if I go into log activities, you see I'm, I have added two activities and I can even delete the activity. So then you see if you go to the dashboard, you can see an active reminder is right there. I set the time at 7 a.m. because we were close to 7 a.m. And you see all of these features are the features which are included into our app. But in order to view the code which built this app, it requires a pro plan in which we can subscribe to the pro plan so that we can view the code file so that we can host our app everywhere we want. So then you see, you can even dismiss it after it gives you a reminder. Our app is working very, very well. And you see our reminder for drinking water is also working pretty, pretty fine. So this is the demo. You can even change everything you want. If you go to reminders, we will see our track record and you are seeing all reminders we have set. And if you go to log activity, all activities have been recorded into the app. If you go to the progress, you see all activities have been done and you see it is marked by black color. 
I'm going to show you another cool feature which is built into this app, which is Copilot Beta. So if you use this Creo AI, it's going to come up with this Copilot Beta AI so that it can help the app user or any user to explore something within the app without leaving the app. So if we click on the button to message it, it's going to pop up like this and we're going to ask it like, what are the tips I can use to drink a lot of water? based on the app we have made. And then when we hit the send button, it's gonna give us a result based on the question we asked. As you see, it is showing us the tips we can use to drink a lot of water daily. So you see, this is a cool feature, which is the best this Create or AI has, which helps a user to chat with AI without leaving your app. So after that, you can even view the recent activities and what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to add a theme feature, which helps us to switch between light and dark themes. So then in order to do that, we are going to prompt this Creao AI so it can do that for us in a few seconds. And then I'm going to prompt it like, I want you to add the theme feature, which will help us to switch between dark and light theme. So after that, I click here on enter, and then it's going to start adding that feature we want. So then we're going to wait a few seconds so that it can be done. So you see, you can even skip integrating some, some tools. It's your choice, but if you skip it, it's going to pick up the one which is the best for you. So you see the configuration is connected. So I'm going to give it a time so that it can add that feature. So this process took me almost like 1.5 minutes and you see the agent is done and the feature has been applied into our app. So we're going to test it. If you click there on the theme button and you see it turn it to white theme, so then if you click on it, it turns to white in dark mode and you see the feature is working very, very well, as we said in the prompt. If you want to input a Figma file, you can come here on my Creao and then come here on settings and then you can come here on integrations for builder and then click here on add plugin. You can add Figma or custom plugin. So by using Figma, you can add your Figma API key right here in this box and then can add description, which is optional. You can left it as it is. So you can click here on add Figma when you are done. Also, if you want to share your project to someone so that he can access it, you can come here to the top right corner, then click here on share this project. And then you can share this project by inputting the user email. And then you can select the role of either a user or a viewer. You can either choose to share the link where you can come here and copy the link. Either you can choose user or viewer. You can even manage access and settings here so that you can restrict the access so that only people added can have access to your project. Even you can come here and see people has access. You see all of these people has access to this project. So you can come here and input email or use that share link as an option to add a user to your project. So also, if you want to upgrade, you can upgrade your plan where you can use this pro plan for 12.5 bucks a month, which is 50% off and it is a limited offer, of course, and you can select a package based on the credits you want. So if you choose 250 credits per month, you can pay 12.5 bucks so that you can get your account upgraded. If you upgrade your account, you get an advanced code agent. You can even download your code files and you can customize API and MCP integration. You can get source code and database visibility. Also, you can get early access to advanced features which are not displayed here on a free account. So if you have any problem, you can go there on Frequently Asked Questions by clicking there on the Frequently Asked Questions button. And then after clicking on that, it's going to redirect you to the Frequently Asked Questions page so that you can get a lot of info. Also, if you want to integrate other powerful tools, you can integrate the following tools into your project. Like you see OpenAI GPT 4.1 chart, and you can integrate your Gmail, your Outlook, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Slack, and other tools you are seeing here. You can add social media sites like Discord, Reddit, X, and YouTube, of course. So you can even integrate Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Sheet, Google Text, and Notion, of course, as you see right here on this page. All these tools can be integrated into your app if you want. If you want to build connections and get more detailed support, you can join Creo Discord community by clicking on the following icon and then verify yourself in the server. You'll get full access in the community and you'll be able to access all channels. You can even create a ticket if you want to talk to the team directly or if you have some questions, you can ask it in the general chat channel. Also, you can showcase your work in this showcase dedicated channel. That's all I have to show you in today's video. I hope you liked it. 
If you liked it, don't forget to click subscribe button and turn on the post notification so to receive notification when we upload a new video. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.